Hello, this is Don Shank for Red Hat Developer. In this short video, I want to introduce OpenShift Sandbox that is offered by Red Hat. What is OpenShift Sandbox? OpenShift Sandbox is a multi-tenant shared cluster running Red Hat OpenShift to which you get 60 days of free access and you can renew that after those 60 days to which you can learn OpenShift and Kubernetes. The sandbox is OpenShift and it runs on top of Kubernetes. Now this is important for two reasons. One, if you just want to learn Kubernetes, you can do that. You don't have to pay attention to the OpenShift parts. In fact, we have an activity that we guide you through to learn Kubernetes without touching OpenShift. So there's that. Secondly, if you do want to learn Red Hat OpenShift, you have a cluster and you have the ability to learn it literally at your fingertips. So because it's a shared cluster, you are going to have limitations. But 15 gigs of storage and seven gigabytes of RAM should be pretty much enough for anybody to learn some cloud-based computing and Kubernetes and OpenShift. Trust me, you can get a lot of things done in that constraint. Now let's take a look at the good stuff. So you'll need a browser to get to your OpenShift dashboard. And from that browser, you can pretty much do anything. Also, you can work with your dashboard at the command line, which is really important because you're going to want to start to script some of your tasks. And this is actually the beginnings of what's known as DevOps, where as a developer, you're writing scripts and you're creating YAML files to configure things. And then later you can turn that over to operations and they can run with it. The nice thing about the sandbox is you're not really limited to, in terms of that aspect of it. So anything that you build in the sandbox, you can download the YAML files and later take them over to your own cluster or your next instance of the sandbox, what have you. Do note though, that you do not have administrator access. You can't install what's known as operators. That's not a problem for a couple of reasons. You're still able to create all the applications you're gonna to wanna to create. And we have a bunch of operators that we have pre-installed and we're rolling out more all the time. So don't let that hold you back. That's not really a big deal. In fact, it's kind of indicative of the real world experience that you would get in OpenShift. Because if you had a cluster where you work, they wouldn't give the developer administrator access. That would be the operation side. So you're always gonna be fenced in a little bit if you know what I mean, if you catch it. So what can you do with the dashboard? Well, one of the things where you want to start is a simple build from source. And what that means is I can take my dashboard in OpenShift and click on this import from Git. And then I can su supply a URL. OpenShift will look at the Git repository, figure out what language it is and how to build it. Uh, you can override that, but it does a pretty good job of guessing. And I click create. And that's all I have to do. That's how easy it is to build your first application. After about two or three minutes, the application will be built and we can take a look at it. Note that when this little diagram, when this outside ring turns dark blue, the build is done. So here you see that the ring has turned to the dark blue and my application is built. This little icon here, it says open URL. And when I do that, there it is. I built an application from source. I mean, <laughs> yeah, really can't get much easier than that. That's one of the things you can do in the developer sandbox. Another thing you can do is if you have an image that you've already built at the command line and maybe send it to your uh, image registry, like I use key.io, you can go ahead and import that. Here's a URL that I have, or not a URL, a path to an image. If went up, it found it, I hit create, and it's gonna do, it's gonna go out, it's gonna take that image and pull it into the cluster registry and build it. You saw how fast that was. That's a lot faster because it's already built. And if I click on that, there's my application. Now, if you can't see the screen, that's not the important part. The important part is that it works. So what this does, it's just a web API that returns some 
quotes, like quote of the day stuff. And if I type in random, it picks random ones. This is actually part of a bigger series of app, an activity that we have that uses this and a website that pulls it down and displays it. And then later you build a database and put the quotes in there. So it's a very nice uh, activity that you can do for free on the sandbox that will take you from creating a web API to an application that runs on the web to a database to, to supply the back end. It shows you how to do a, what's called a ruling update. It, it's very good. Speaking of databases, that's another thing you can do. As a developer, sometimes you maybe you're working on a proof of concept, so you just want a database, or maybe you don't want to go to operations or whatever you have to do to requisition the database. I know in my experience, sometimes that was, you know, I just want a database. Well, in developer sandbox, I can go over here and one of the options, I mean, if you look at the screen, there's all kinds of options, but this database option, I have all these options to create a database. So <laughs> this is great. So here's the MariaDB ephemeral, which means it's not going to store the data. When I delete the pods, it'll go away. That's just my choice. I click instantiate and click create. And I'm done. I've created a MariaDB database and I, over here it is. Now it's going to, it has to spin up, and everything, but that's all you have to do to create a database. It is literally that easy. There's a lot more you can do. We have activities, uh, <clears throat> many activities that we'll be covering in another video. But for now, I would suggest that you get over to our website, developers.redhat.com, and get started with an account that's free and a sandbox that's free. Thanks for watching.